Hi, Nicole. I'm glad you made your uh, question on Facebook. And uh, I know it's taken me a little bit to uh, get back to you, but I'm glad to have this opportunity to discuss your question about values. And uh, you said that you never know how dark to go with your values, and you always feel like your drawings are too light, but then when you darken them, it seems like they become too dark. So how do you know when your drawing is just right? This is such a common uh, problem. Uh, and I've tried to help people with the idea that we want to build our darkest values first, and we also want to stay in control and do it gradually. It may seem like it takes time, but I think that overall, if you can see the development and know that you have a sense of whether they're too dark or not, uh, and see them in balance with everything else in your picture, that it can be a great advantage. I don't like to go any darker than I have to, but I want to be able to see contour and curve. So that's why when I start in the darkest areas first, I always try to show a gradation out from that particular edge where I started so that I see a range of value. The reason I like to do this primarily is because I don't want those darks to contrast too much. So at the stage they're at, I want to have something in those dark areas, but it wouldn't be as dark as I may go later. I want to be able to judge that as I go. And I also want to be able to have the opportunity to reach into those lighter areas, the white parts of your paper. Maybe it's the highlights or even across a forehead or a cheek. And have the opportunity to get some value in there so that I can contour it. Because if there's nothing on the paper, it is going to be flat. And if I make the darks too dark and I go to the extreme and I have no more to put in there, I can't contour that either. I don't want anything that's flat. That's why I say I'm obsessed with contour and curve, because I always want to see that dimension developing and that wonderful uh, you know, contour of a face or a forehead or a cheek. And so if you do it slowly, you will gradually be able to reach farther and farther and farther into those white spaces. If you haven't gotten uh, the adequate value in those white spaces, you're going to see a greater contrast as well with what you did in the dark areas. And so it becomes more evident. If you're not patient as well, again, and develop your darks too quickly, this will also create a larger contrast. And it gets hard because if you can see the balance and think that way so that you are staying control and putting just enough then you're going to have an opportunity to have a better feeling about it. So I, I hope that that helps you a little bit. And if you feel that you need to uh, have me refine that uh, comment a little bit more, because uh, you can help me understand exactly what you're running into trouble with, uh, you know, feel free to comment again. Thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate your involvement in Facebook here on my fan page. And uh, hope you're having fun drawing.